Hi everyone and welcome back to Wild Card Wednesday, Wednesday, December 9th, 2009. I'm actually filming this on a Monday evening. It's really, really, really cold here in Canada. It is minus 39 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 38 and a half degrees below Fahrenheit. So we're all hibernated in our homes and I thought this would be a great time for me to film my video. So um, this is the last in the series of our Christmas series. So for this episode, I'm going to make something that was so useful to me. I've used it for a couple of years now and it's falling apart. So I'm going to make another one. And it's actually a holiday planner and I've used it so much the Y fell off. It's a great place to keep yourself organized over the Christmas holidays. Here I have my to-do page. Next section is my Christmas dinner because I have Christmas dinner at my house. So the guest list and any grocery list that I need. And, I, and here I have Christmas coupons. Use a lot of those over the holidays. This is the fun section, the Christmas list. So my family gives me their list and I take this with me to the store. The last part uh, is receipts. So I pop this whole thing in my purse and when I'm organizing myself throughout the holidays and I, even after the holidays if I have to return anything, I've got everything all in this holiday planner. So we're going to go ahead and make one of these today. Uh, we're going to use the um, textured cardstock that was on sale at Stampin' Up! And it's got really nice Christmas colors, real red, olive green, chocolate chip. I'm going to use some of that and we're going to use the leftover pieces from that Christmas jingle set that I used in the last uh, episode. It says from that Christmas jingle set that I used in the last uh, episode. We also have some transparencies, office transparencies, and we're just going to cut a piece to fit for the front cover because it just makes it kind of waterproof and doesn't get banged around and crushed up so much in your purse. And I'm also going to put the book together with my crocodile. I've got random scrap pieces of Christmas paper here. Some is stamping up, some is not. And you also need three legal sized envelopes. Just regular white office envelopes. So let's get started. One more thing I wanted to mention is you're going to need some kind of sticker letters. Uh, for this project it's best to not use uh, dimensional things like thickers or chipboard because it's going in and out of your purse. It's probably best to use a flat sticker letter on it and flat items to embellish it with. I just found it better. I found anything that I had added on this that had any bulk can seem to fall off all the time. So that's just my little tip. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut out our cardstock for the book. So you are going to cut your pages for your booklet. As you can see, they are in graduating sizes from bigger, half an inch, they get half an inch smaller as we go along. cardstock. So you can see by the, the graduating colors here, the red, the green, the brown, the red, and I chose green for my cover. And then I cut my piece of transparency four and a half by 11. So it's the same size as the back sheet. So all corners of the book stay protected. I'm going to take these stickers and just find the words holiday planner and pop it on. Okay, I've added my stickers on and now I'm going to burnish them with my bone folder to make sure they're all really stuck down really, really well. So the next thing I decided to do, I took the transparency, I took some stickers from that Christmas jingle set and I stuck them on top 
and then added something more permanent like some stickles and I'm just going to finish up stickling the last one here. <laughs> cover piece holiday planner so we're just going to flip this side over we kind of just want to stick this in the middle and we're just going to trim off the excess on the back and save these pieces because we might use them now the cool thing about this Christmas jingle set it comes with these little kind of label things right here I'll just stick it right in the middle And then in, in my own handwriting, I'm going to put to-do list on this one. So I have my next piece. It's nine and a half by four and a half. So I cut this four and a half by nine and a quarter so you can Put it right, butt it right up, and then we cut our line paper to fit. So now I'm just going to adhere this on there. I stapled the line paper to the printed paper first, so it's easy to pull off and uh, use as you need. I'm just going to adhere this holiday planner to do, and there's our to do list. <laughs> 